Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Today on Enjoy, we'll be doing a graphic setting breakdown. So when you get into your official gameplay, you have everything ready and set and just we go over what all of these graphical things mean. It's basically just an overview. Some has asked for this. I said, why not? Let's do it. So let's go into options here. And we have the graphics will appear immediately. I always liked, I always like to make it um, full screen. Always try to bring it to what your currently thing is. I like doing it like that. That's currently what mine is currently. I believe it, it could be bigger than that, I think. So I'll leave it here as one. Whatever. So now let's break down what a couple of things mean. So you're fully prepared. So the main first thing I want to I want to look at here is called performance. Now this basically is means is what will be your frame rate and just what will be the overall pushing meter of the game performance balance quality dlla don't think too much here i would either pick balance or performance if you wanted to really show out and give everything that it can give to performance if you want to balance it out a little bit more to balance that's kind of self-explanatory there maximum fps this can really help your pc if you don't have one where you feel it's super powered but you want to try to get the maximum look out of enzoid if you cap your FPS that can really help your system. So they have caps of 60, 100, 30. What I would do is I would cap it at at least 60. If you have lower, lower specs, do around 30. That will definitely help the PC stay calm. That really helps the PC not overextend itself which could then start the clipping issue and start the um pausing issue like that so try to keep it there you have motion blur the depth of field now with motion blur if you turn that on during the game that will have a strong effect on your gpu and performance so if you feel like it's not make or break i will leave it off because it will increase the demand on your gpu 100 percent. be aware of that ray tracing obviously you will have to have a graphic card that is even to that level, of course. But if you do, keep it on. Now, you can see mine. I have everything pretty much on high because that's what my... Um, graphic card when the game was rendering that's what it chose now a lot of these don't matter and some do matter a lot for example this is something I would always keep on TAA um, that's very important as far as it's not going to be super draggy on performance. These two are one of your main homes. These two can be put on high to keep the game looking good. What I've come to find out that that does a lot of damage. Well, not damage, but puts a, a lot of demand on your GPU is the shadow quality. 
So if the shadow quality is not really affecting your gameplay, turn it off. If the shadow quality is not really affecting your game experience, turn it off. There's really no reason to have it on. I mean, have it on, but if it's affecting performance, if you're seeing lags and drags, try to turn off the shadow quality or turn it down on the lower, and I think you will see a really good surprise there. Because that shadow really drags on the GPU. It really does. What I want to look at here is textures. That's going to be on the ground, how the grass appear, how it look realistic. Again, if this does not bother you, turn this down as well. Shadow and textures are key to run the game smoothly. If you see the game lagging, turn down one of these or both of them and see what they say. Now, so you see here, you have the plant density and quality as well. That ties in with the textures. The reflection quality is fine, no biggie. I think the main thing you get graphical breakdown on just some of the keys here on what you need to focus on here is that, okay, let me just make sure I have everything I need as far as me understanding what I need to turn on and turn off. So again, you want to look at things like the lighting here. That can affect it very much. So you want to look at not everything is super demanding on your GPU. That's very understood here. That needs to be understood not everything is super demanding only a key things like lighting shadow quality texture plant density these are the things that will really drag down or make your pc lag if you don't have up to, up to enough specs or if you're trying to balance it that's why i try to if i had a certain pc try to keep things balanced for example i would keep these things high, like this here, the anti-analyzing high, and then other stuff, I would turn low because I know I don't necessarily need it. So that's how you kind of go about that, tweak it. What do I need a lot of? Okay, I'll keep that high. What I don't, I'll put on low or turn it off. So again, your GPU is not getting just totally kicked around by this brand new software. Now, this is very important too. You want to make sure you check here to make sure you always have your settings ideal. Always see how your game is running within the first 10 to 15 minutes. B, maybe before you get into any, anything too serious, make sure everything that looks the part and that um, it makes sense because, you know, I think sometimes with these, all this stuff here, it can get a bit confusing what to do what not to do so i think this was a very key video for some who just wanted a more detailed breakdown of this um and i think it went over well so far I'm trying to see if there's anything else here that i want that i want to speak on i think this here was pretty pretty good i want to say thank you for listening thank you for watching please like the video and subscribe to the channel i will see you on the next one take care everyone